This might not look like pre-season training, but effectively, it is. Today is the start of training for 2018, and this is the first time the Red Arrow's new signings have been able to practice manoeuvres together. But what does the new gaffer think? It was good. I mean, we're at the stage of building blocks, so very sort of, you know, basic manoeuvres. These guys are highly experienced pilots, and obviously we've selected them for that, but this is a completely different kind of flying. So it takes a long time, and it's back to basics for these guys. And it will be interesting for them, because having been very experienced, you know, frontline, good at what they do, at top of their game, they're going back to basics and almost learning a new skill. So what does the new team sheet look like? Well, Reds 4 to 9 are regulars in the team and form the more experienced rear of the formation. But up front, it's all change. And the big news is that there's a new pilot leading the formation. Martin Part rejoins the team, this time as its leader, after flying on the front line over Iraq and Syria. The challenges are exceedingly different. In some respects, this flying here is more focused than the flying that I was doing on operations. And whilst the sorties were six or seven hours in length, tactically very difficult, it's the 20 to 25 minutes of pure focused flying that we do here that marks it out from that operational flying. But in some respects, some of those qualities that I needed for, for flying and operations are exactly what, what are required here. The weight of responsibility of looking after nine pilots um, during a display is something that I can hopefully fall back on that operational experience and, and look to win. Behind Red 1, the team's two newest signings, Red 2 and 3. Together, they bring over 13 years of experience. I've always wanted to, to do this since I was a small child, dragging my, my parents to air shows across the country, watching the Red Arrows display. Uh, so for me to get to do this is, is an absolute dream come true, and I can't wait to get started. Certainly this morning, knowing that we were finally going to get flying on, on the wing of Red 1, definitely had to pinch myself this morning. Generally, it's a healthy mix, I think, of excitement and trepidation. Um, excitement at the opportunity we've been given, but the knowledge that we, we need to meet the standards that have been set prior to us um, over the next sort of six to seven months in order to be able to wear the red suits, which is our ultimate aim. On the ground too, more change. The role of Red 10, the squadron's coach, has changed for the first time since 2011. It's squadron leader Adam Collins who's taking over. It's a, a very varied role as Red 10. Everything from supervising to public relations to commentating for the audience on the ground uh, and very much uh, a big part of the planning for the 2018 display season as well. So raring to go, very exciting, uh, a little apprehensive as well, but uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's the Red Arrows team news for 2018. There's now seven months at a winter training camp. After that, they should be well prepared for next season. Simon Thornton, Forces News, RAF Scampton. Perfect takeoff, right arrow.